So what is C Sharp? Well, C Sharp is what's called an object oriented programming language. And don't worry, we'll be talking all about that later. It's created by Microsoft and it runs on what's called the .NET framework. C Sharp has its roots in the C family, so I don't know if you've heard of C or C++, but it's quite similar to those languages, and this is where it was developed from. It's very similar to popular languages like C++ and Java, and the first version of C Sharp was released in the year 2002 now, so it's over 20 years old, and the latest version at time of filming is C Sharp version 11. So the c -sharp language slowly evolves, pretty much like everything else in life. So why should I learn c -sharp? What is it used for? Well, you can create mobile applications, desktop applications, web applications like websites, video games, virtual reality games, for example, machine learning software, database applications, and much, much more. It's one of the most popular programming languages in the world. And this is why it's really good to learn a language like C Sharp, because there'll be more job opportunities out there and more opportunities for you to apply your knowledge. It's easy to learn and it's simple to use. It has huge community support. And if you already know C or C++ or Java, or maybe you want to learn them in the future, then they're very similar. So the principles I teach you in this course, you can apply to C, C++ and Java if you wish to pick up a new language in the future. And one of the trending things right now is to create video games in a software development package called Unity. And Unity supports C Sharp behind the scenes. So if you want to make your video game do things, make your characters move, then you can use C Sharp to accomplish this. So right now, people are learning C Sharp more than ever just so they can create video games in Unity. So here is a lot of reasons to learn C Sharp and why you should learn C Sharp over perhaps other languages. So hopefully through my explanation so far, I've convinced you to begin your journey in learning C Sharp and becoming perhaps a professional or even a hobbyist programmer. Now, let's begin our adventures in C Sharp and download the tools we need in order to get started.